Two, two, what's good, what's good? Hey, look here. I know you see you got your new guy in front of you. Due to this channel's, the Therapy Rooms channel, disappointment, we had to bring you this special character of embarrassment. He's embarrassed, y'all. All right, let's talk about this, though. Say, I hate. I hate on Starbucks because they make the best macchiato macchiato or whatever the hell I be getting all that. White chocolate macchiato macchiato. All right? Not I, but the person I work for, okay? He embarrassed, y'all. So, look. About a week now, big week, about a week right now. Starburst, recount it, why stop going to Starburst, Starbucks, Starburst, didn't they say Starburst? Starbucks, I like them candies too, because of past trials and tribulations. But the trials and tribulations were catered to, but probably not to the kinding of his, right? What he might, right? I don't know, he might want a all black Starburst or Starburst, there you go, a burst again. All black, Starbucks, I don't know. But the reason why he can't, y'all, I had to go, look here. Man, I've been flipping around them up, and so I'll go each day and go get my little coffee and stuff, because my day's real good. You know that Starburst, you get that two espresso and stuff, man, that much, how you, well, me, have me stand up for eight hours straight, and I ain't got to drink nothing, do nothing else, right, with that Starburst, Starbucks. But your boy tried to start do with uh, Dunkin' Donuts and do with uh, Such a Boy and all that other stuff and who else? Uh, Circle K and all these other places. Try to find something better than Starburst or equal to Starburst so that I don't have to support Starburst. Why? Starburst. I keep saying Starburst. Starbucks. Why? Because I, I'm up in my feelings because they did some black folks wrong back in the day. And it's like, who ain't done black folks wrong? Hell, if that's the case, you shouldn't go to so many places because... You know, you know, you know what I'm saying? So stuck in that, got to reprogram their mind. That's what I'm really teaching y'all, reprogram their mind. Now I ain't going to sit up here and lie and say, that's why I did that video that day because I knew I was going to come to this and make that. No, 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 no. I'm not going to sit up here and tell you no lie like that. That's why I'm wearing this goddamn bag on my head because in a way I feel kind of embarrassed that I got to apologize to Starbucks. I got to. Especially when I go back and I, I ain't been there in like a week and a half and I'm tasting hot, warm water from such and such and uh, half espresso, drink that stuff 30 minutes later, I'm gone to sleep and all that stuff, and you just ain't doing what Starbucks do. I just gotta own it. I just gotta own it. There's a reason why Starbucks is Starbucks. You see what I'm saying? Star. Shit, it's the star. Got the best goddamn coffee. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I sipped a little bit of my coffee this morning, just coming from Starbucks, coming to the parking lot. I almost blasted through my roof. Real talk. All right, so, what am I saying? We can make mistakes. I'm human. Shit, I ain't perfect. But transparency, owning my shit, knowing when I make them wrong. Middle name Pete out there in Canada. I'm sorry, baby. Shit, I'm sorry to mess with you like that. I know you like some Starbucks. Goddesses. We learn. Hey. But I'm that one to turn around, man, and come back and bring it back at you and say, whoa, I can do better. Because I can do better, I will do better. You can promise that. So, Starbucks. Starbucks. You got to put you back on the ground, baby, because you give me on my ground. Man, my little fade, man. Shit, got shade. You know, shading class, class last time I gave, man. Shit, I'm not even putting no lotion on y'all, nothing like that. So, mm. all right. So, we apologize to Starbucks, y'all, man. Shit, Starbucks, you know. They're doing their thing. Keep me away. Keep me nice. Keep me tight. Um, beautiful day out here. Um, but know how to, you know, in the therapy room, we just learn how to navigate in there and be able to go within ourselves and fix ourselves. A person, you know, I'm just showing you a person saying, you know what? You know, you can't, you can't, uh, uh, can you forgive and, and move on in a way where that, um, It's not putting a roadblock in your life with it. It's not upsetting it, not um, making it um, confused and 
you know, what I learned in the therapy room, you want to die down a lot of the unnecessary tension that we bring to ourselves. Sometimes we can be our own problems. A lot of times we can be our own problems. Man. And that's just something Sean's trying to show everybody else, man. You, you make a mistake, man, own it. Own it. It's all right. Shit, own it. Tell it. Some people don't want to uh, listen to it or care what you got to say about it. That, that's not yours, man. You just you just be the person that, shit, all right, I got it off my chest. It ain't going to bother me no more. Whether What you lo- like about it or not, that's on you. You got to deal with that. But I got it off my chest. Hey, I, I disrespect the Starbucks, Starbucks, uh, knowing I shouldn't because immediately after that happened, um, they probably they tried to hire every goddamn black <laughs> black college kid in Killeen. You know what I'm saying? So, hey, it's a beautiful thing. They learn, we learn. We all learn. As long as we learn it, right? And to how to treat each other better and do better by each other, then we're going to be all right. We totally going to be all right. All right? So I got more to come, man. Um, and that's what I expect from myself. Uh, you know, I can't worry about what others do when they, when they shit on people and stuff like that. But I can only create a better way within myself to show and be an example for myself that I make mistakes, I make uh, misjudgments, uh, decisions that uh, are not going to be conducive to everybody around me, but it's not the decisions I make, it's the the uh, I hate getting dry I ain't putting no lotion on it's the, the way I go about it, right? the way each and every one of us go about it so, hey, we working, man we working to go about it a better way Right? No better do better. There's a lot of energy out there. A lot of energy. Um, a lot of people are starting to gravitate with gravitate within themselves. Uh, come out today and see a lot of people waving, people walking. And, um, the energy is high. People respond to it. Um, usually I go out and I can, I'm, I can feel that I'm invisible at times because I... I don't say much to people when I was going through my face. So just going through the show, through the faith, through the therapy, y'all, that we expanding, we opening up, we are showing more of ourselves, more of who are who we are. The hermit's gone, right? Um, um, so the the energy that one puts out, the love, uh, one expects to get back, and so that will be coming back and understanding that. Um, just be good to yourself, right? Be good to yourself continue to um, meditate, pray, give yourself 10 to 15 minutes a day. If you can give it on a, on a um, three times a day scale, that is beautiful. But if you can hit it morning and afternoon, I mean, uh, when you wind down uh, at night, then that's, that's even better. Right? But give yourself time. Your, your inner deserves that just as much as you give to your outer. Well, a lot of us go out, <clears throat> do aerobics and walk and swim and give our outer appearance all the attention, makeup, hair, everything that it needs. But what about our inner? What what are we doing for our inner? Are we sitting out and really correlating with that so that it can match our outer? Because that's what you want. You want your inner to match your outer. If you're beautiful on the outside, then you want to be beautiful on the inside. How do I accomplish that being beautiful on the inside? Well, you can't be no beautiful person on the outside and you run around, bitch, this, motherfucker, that, nigga, I whoop your ass, whoop, 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 whoop. And that's how you handle decisions and all that stuff. They don't look beautiful. And that's where they get the analogy right. Uh, beauty's only skin deep, right? So, um, so some of us know we got to work on that. All right? and shoot, I'm one. I got I to work on that. All right? and I continue to work on it every day. I want my outer beauty to match my inner beauty. Most definitely. All right? Cause, uh, and know that you a beautiful person. All right? You know right now I might not be looking beautiful to everybody. I got to shave and put some little lotion on and stuff. But I'm still beautiful to myself. The boss said got it wrong. In, in the morning, you don't look flawless. I don't look flawless in the morning. So I don't sleep like, uh, what's up, girl? On uh, next Friday, was get her hair done. Regina Bell, when she was on next Friday, she get her hair done, sleep like this. I can't sleep like that, y'all. So <laughs> I ain't flawless in the morning. So it is what it is. I'm going to wake up like I wake up. Mm-hmm. I'm going to wake up like I wake up. Starbucks. It's the Starbucks. I love you. Starbucks, you're my baby. Even though I know that 
Medusa was a black lady. That's why I gotta come back to you. Gave you something to think about. Google, go learn about who this is. That's Medusa, the lady with them dreadlocks. But they said they were snake locks. You better do your homework. Come on, y'all. It's elevation. That's why the spirit making me go through all this, man. There's, there's always a method in the madness, people. Believe that. I love you. Hey, spiritual world. Hey, believe me. Woo! Boy, do I be listening. Mm, mm, mm. Me, Sean Shelman. The guy gifted the gab, bro. Sisters, let me tell you something. I would not be wanting to do this if it wasn't for some of you beautiful people out there, real talk. It's already set the platform, set the mind, whether you're Christian, Muslim, Islam, I don't give a hootie woot. What you do when you get out in front of that camera, talk your peace, bring your experiences, bring your love, bring your understanding of this world, bring your compassion and your vibration of this world, the frequency level, erase it. We wonder why the frequency level is raising because the conscious mind is raising. That's the period. That's pure point blank. Minds are starting to get on the Lucy effect of being in touch with each other, caring about each other, worrying about each other, understanding each other, coming to an understanding with each other. We're doing that. We are doing that. All right. Um, the devil is lying. He's going to continue to lie. She, he. But Almighty got us. The universe has us. And we all understand that. So I say tell you, keep steadfast. I am come through you did, uh, probably after lunch a little bit come through you with some content and talk about some things um, real touchy alright real touchy um, but I think the door the, the book has to be open it's already open but the door has to be wide for us to see some of the madness that we're going through because once we understand and analyze the things that we see that were prescribed in the days back in the days then we're going to see why we continue to do with this uh, prescribed attitude behavior today and this is something that we need to change because we have uh, evolved we have uh, uh, evolved we, we continue to evolve to levels that others can't understand so um, these are things that we work on all right these are things we'll continue to work on we know what we need to work on so we work on all right um, Forgiveness, don't forget about forgiveness. We talked about that last week, right? Um, for for one to think that they are going to continue on their journey by learning the let through learning the lessons they've learned and um, allowed themselves to overcome. If one does not forgive himself, herself, for their past misfortunes, conduct, whatever you want to call it, or does not forgive others, then <clears throat> your way forward is not going to be successful, if you think. Uh, because you don't have the, you don't have the keep it moving components, skills necessary to keep it moving in a positive way. You're just negatively running away from things and and um, shunning your problems, not uh, directly hitting them on, not um, allowing yourself time to heal with your problems and identifying them, things like that. We, we, we know this, people, we know this. Um, so I can tell you through this that I am proud of myself because um, as I continue to move on, I will be able to, for me, can't talk about the other people or anybody else, but for me, I will be able to move on successfully because I have identified things in my chapter and this and that and whatever, whatever, to allow myself to move on. Everybody understand? All right, so and be good to yourself. Continue to be good to yourself. It's going to be like it's going to be rainy out there now. Take care of yourself. You got your umbrella, all right? Don't be getting wet out there. Chocolate does melt. <laughs> I love y'all. Peace.